tonight, Lawrence gets carjacked. The hunters explore a pit. And Tristan attacks me. Hello and welcome to Lawrence Plays and it's time for some more Manhunt Checkpoint. And here we, we are playing with the helicopter mode today, which is where the um, one of the hunters is not playing a hunter, but he's flying around the city in a helicopter. And in theory, he's always trying to keep me in sight. Um, and he's got blips on the map to help him do it. So if I look around, there's a fairly high chance I might see... Yeah, that might be him up there, actually, in that helicopter. I don't know. Um, problem is, you can't actually tell which which one is the... Which one is the uh, I can't easily tell which one is the is the uh, hunter helicopter. Um, but that's okay, because I'm not trying to I'm not actually trying to lose him. He's there to, to provide a, a guide for the other hunters, but he's not allowed to talk to them. So he's just sort of going to float around somewhere vaguely near me and keep me in sight all the time. And that will allow the hunters to, to, to know roughly where in the city they should be looking for me. Um, okay, maybe he's got a cargo bob this time. Okay, that'll make him really, really obvious. That's probably a good thing. Because in the last run, apparently the hunters were having a little bit of trouble with identifying which helicopter was the was the, um, was the the one they were supposed to be following. And we were talking about maybe making it bright pink or something like that, but I think just turning it into a cargo bob that's carrying a car is probably going to work quite well. So, yes, that makes a certain amount of sense. Good. Um, there is a green car parked in this crossroads up here. That's odd. Um, but it doesn't seem to be have anyone in it, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. That... <laughs> I'm getting a little bit paranoid, because we've turned on the, um, the colours, uh, the, the, the brightly coloured vehicles thing. Because we got, it gets a bit boring when all of the vehicles driving around the city are some sort of shade of grey. I mean, it's realistic. In in the 2010s, 2020s, vehicles do all seem to be grey. But it's boring. So we've gone for the sort of the... What we, what I'm referring to as the 70s mode, which is where every vehicle that spawns in in, in a shade of grey <coughs> gets recoloured into a completely... Ra into a random non-grey colour. And then a... What's that? Blue car doing. And then a random... Um, and, and a random secondary colour as well. So, they all, so we get lots and lots of hideous ones. Um, this one I'm in at the moment, which has the the red body and then the um, the sort of the, is that a dark green or is, yeah I think it might be a dark green or possibly a grey um, accent, isn't too bad, but that photo over there with the blue and blue is a bit much. Um, and the problem with this is it makes it a bit harder to identify hunter vehicles because they don't stick out quite as much as they usually do because everything is brightly coloured, <laughs> so. It's a bit of a change there, but um, I think it makes it makes certainly makes it everything look a little bit more interesting. So we're going to stick with that. But yeah, look at that one, pink with a green roof. I mean, who who think who who would buy a car that gets coloured like that? It's like a um, the the VW Polo Harlequin model where they did put every every um, panel was a different colour, or it's a different colour from the ones next to it. I think they made basically they made four four, four different cars of each colour. No, cars four, four identical cars of different colours. And then swap them around and swap the panels around between them. So I think that's probably Mark because it was going a bit too quick to be an AI vehicle. But even police cars will get recolored or by this um, by this new system. That might have been Pete. I might have just given myself away by running a red light. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, I can't. No, no, I can't see him behind me. So I think we're probably okay. Good. And that orange car probably isn't Mike because it was driving relatively sensibly. So you see, you see what I mean. It's you, you see a brightly coloured car, I immediately think it's a hunter, but half the time it isn't. It's just a garish, garish AI car. Okay, so Hills ch Hills Crossroads. <clears throat> the problem with um, the problem I ha have with the with these checkpoints, especially ones like this one or oil fields or airport loop exit, is they're right out on the edge of the play area. So if the hunters know roughly where I am. Then they know exactly which checkpoint I'm going for because there only is one in that general direction. Um, so it remains to be seen how much the, um, the the helicopter guiding them will 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 help with that because Max might be staying more towards the middle of the city. I can't see him at all at the moment, um, or he might already be up in the, in the, somewhere over the hills. I think he's probably over that way because I heard shooting from over there a, a little bit earlier, but. Yeah, I don't know where he is at the moment. I'm supposed to always be able to see... Or at least he's supposed to always be able to see me, which isn't quite the same thing. But I can't, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where he is. 
Uh, he's probably he won't be far away though. I'm I can't lose him because I'm marked on his map. So it's just just to make sure. So yeah, there we go. There's quite a lot of cars around here. It's bad news when there's a lot of cars around because that tends to attract the hunter's attention. If they're in an area where there are um, where and they see if, they, if they're driving around and they see a big queue of cars or a lot of cars going through an area, then they will get suspicious because that tends to mean. Well, it means there's a player around, and probably a player who hasn't been moving around very much. Um, because that tends to be how... That's how the game works. That's how cars get spawned in. Or how... and you Or the cars get spawned in because there's a player nearby, and then they don't spawn out because the player is still nearby. I kind of want to take that Jester. But I'm also aware that I'm really, really close to a checkpoint that I've just taken. So there's probably about to be hunters around here. Let's follow it for a little while. Um, and see if it's see see if I start to feel safe. I can hear a siren. The hunters seem to really like police cars at the moment, which makes a sort of sense because they are probably one of the best cars the hunters are allowed to drive. Right, I'm going to have the jester. Um, yeah, it makes a lot of sense because they're because the hunters aren't allowed to drive sports cars or supercars. They're allowed, but they are allowed to drive. Basically anything else. Is this an alarm going off from my car? Alarms aren't supposed to go off. Car alarms aren't supposed to go off if you steal a car that's in use. What's going on? Oh, it stopped now anyway. Okay. <clears throat> so, what was I saying? Um, North Vine. Okay, that's not far. Um, yeah, the hunters aren't allowed to use sports or supercars. So, they tend to mostly use coupes because they are pretty quick and pretty good. Um... But police cars are possibly better than coupes. I don't really know. There's a purple car parked there. I don't like that. He's pointing a gun. I don't like that either. But I seem to have snuck past him. So that's... That's okay. I was worried... <laughs> I was worried he's going to ambush me again. He does. He likes to do that when he, when he, when he can get away with it. Right, okay. Back into the city now. So I'm out of the hills. That's... That's probably good. The roads are a bit easier down here. There's a lot of cars over there. But, yeah, that's odd. Hmm. Let's have a quick look around for the helicopter. Nope, I can't see it. <clears throat> I can hear a siren. I can see a lot of garage cars. That, that car over there is coming up a bit too fast. Ah, it's getting suspicious of this big long queue of cars because it's a big long queue of cars. Oh no, it's... What? I was pushed into the junction. I don't know what an AI would do in that situation. I will, however, drive away from here slowly and carefully. I don't think they're following me. Maybe that was sufficiently AI-like behaviour, or maybe they were actually concentrating on a different car in that queue. I don't know. But I am now heading towards the next checkpoint, and I'm not going to stop for this red light. It's a bit of a shame this car's damaged now, though. I did quite like. I, I wanted to keep the Jester, but it's got a, now got a massive dent and scratch on the back of it. So I feel like I probably should change cars at some point. But I'm going to take this checkpoint in anyway. <clears throat> it's a shame because I think the Jester would be a good one to is is a good one to use because it's a fast sports car. It's a really good car. So yeah, it's a pity. I was looking forward to using it in a chase, but I don't really want to use it to get me into a chase by being foolish enough to not change out of it. So I should probably, probably switch at some point. I'll keep my eyes out for another good car at least. Maybe a, 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 a uh, fuse laid or perhaps like, like that. Or a, some, something, well, I don't really want to comment. They're a bit slidey and adventurous. There's a purple car in the middle of the junction there. What's he doing? Okay, he's off again. Okay, so I'm, next I'm going to oil fields apparently. And that's a bit of a, I want to say a bit of a problem. It's not really a problem. But it is another one of those checkpoints that's way out on the edge of the city. So it's it's one where if they realise... I'm Once they realise where I'm going, I'm going to be rather obvious and easy to find. So, or, or rather, it's going to be rather obvious where I'm going to. And therefore there's a risk of ambushes being set up for me. And I don't really want to run into an ambush. Uh, I'm not hanging around for this. Oh, there's the uh, there's a helicopter up there, I think. Oh, no, no, that's, a, that's not the Chinook. That's just a random AI helicopter then, presumably. I don't see the Chinook. Um, 
it's interesting. I've, since since seeing it right at the beginning when it was carrying that car around, I haven't seen it again. I mean, I've not looked for it an enormous amount. It's just been one sort of... Oh, Mike's killed himself. I wonder, what he, I wonder how he did that. I can't see it. But then I'm not in a good place for spot for looking at the sky here. So, who knows. I don't want to be here. There's too much going on. This, again, I keep getting paranoid by these brightly coloured cars scattered around all over the place. Especially these ones like that, like these ones that are um, parked in a junction. That looks even more suspicious. Because AIs don't, do, don't even do that in the first place. So, yeah. But I think they're all abandoned ones. I'm pretty sure all that police car coming... Oh, went a different way. Excellent. Right, let's carry on then. Down into, um, down into Ghetto. Where this gesture is going to look even more out of place. But, I don't know, I just... I kind of want to get into a chase in the Jester because it's so fast and such actually a good such a good car and I don't normally have cars this good because they don't seem to spawn quite as often as I'd like. Ooh. What is that? Oh, it's a Voltic. Nah, Voltic is actually too good. I can't use that. The Voltic so I I I mean I, I'm allowed to drive a supercar if I want. That's the the rules don't I can drive absolutely anything I can find. There's nothing no, nothing wrong with that. But I can't take a checkpoint in a Voltic. It's uh, supercars are not al not allowed for checkpoint takings. What's that? Let's have one of those. Holy this is a Buick Riviera, which I believe. So yes, this is not a normal GTA car, as you can tell by the fact that it's got a real world um, manufacturer name on the badge uh, and stuff on it. So. We uh, joined, joined the server earlier this evening. It turns out that um, someone's been playing around with the uh, with the car models in the game, and we've now got a load of real world cars in here as well. So this Buick Riviera is one, and I believe they're, they're all the ones. They've been added in as ones that some of the GTA, some of the default GTA cars are are based on. So, like the Felon is based on the uh, Jaguar XKR. The, the uh, it turns out the Buccaneer is, is based quite heavily on the Buick Riviera, Riviera, which to be honest I never knew because I'm not very good at American cars. I'm <laughs> mostly because I'm not very interested in them. Um, oh dear, there's a lot of cars up here. I don't want to be in this queue really, but I, don't, I can't really get round it without being really, really obvious if there's any hunters around. So let's. Oh, there's the, there's the Chinook. Right. Okay, it's still around. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is basically it's got identical handling to the Buick, uh, to the uh, to the Buccaneer, but it just looks a little bit different. To add a bit of interest to the game, there's crashes happening behind me. There's an there's an Ed police car. Okay, hope he's gone a different way. That's nice of him. Okay, I am in a queue of cars again. I do not like this. I do not want to be in a queue of cars. I want to be out on my own. Go past, Mark. Go past. Go 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 go. Okay, he's got suspicious of the queue of cars because there's a big queue of cars. This is the problem I'm talking about with it. I uh... and there's only one or two good cars in this entire queue. Oh, I think he went for the Oracle, which is a fair fair guess because I do drive Oracles too much. Well, I used to drive Oracles too much. I don't so much anymore actually because there's usually something better. Right, let's get away from there a little bit because. I don't want to be hanging around where there's a hunter. Um, right now, now I can slow down a little bit. I think, and it's it's a tricky one knowing knowing when to drive fast and knowing when not to, and also sort of trying to keep the game reasonably fair and balanced by not just hooning around all over the city because that wouldn't be fair on for the hunters. So I need to try and find that cunning. What is that? That Oracle's driving very badly. <laughs> I'm I don't know why, but I sort of. Because they're computer controlled and so on, I kind of expect the AIs to drive sensibly and predictably most of the time. But that is obviously a complete and utter nonsense. The, uh, the, and I don't, and I have to assume that a lot of it is because they're designed to drive. They're intended. They've been programmed to drive a little bit more human-like than, uh, than computer-like. And also, it's because sometimes they just get confused and do dumb things. He says, spinning the camera around while he's driving. It was a straight road though, so it seemed fairly safe. I don't know whether I needed to run then, but I have now given myself away. Um, Tristan is chasing me. Uh, I don't know. It seemed... I felt like he'd probably identify... Well, the fact that he was getting suspicious and, and nuzzling up to me like that meant I felt like I should probably do a runner. Um, because... 
I can't. One of the ways, one of the ways hunters investigate cars is they'll get, is they'll go up to them, drive into them, give them a bit of a nudge, and see if they, see if they, see if the driver shouts abuse at them, because AI cars will generally shout um, at at a, at, a, at a player who drives into them because they're angry. Um, I can't do that because I don't have any sort of control that will allow me to to to, to shout. So I have to. Um, that was a sudden change in the weather. Um, so I, I can blow my horn at them, and occasionally that works. And um, and has the, has the desired effect, and they think, and, 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 and making them think that I'm an AI. But but usually it just means they end up ramming me again, and then again, and again, and eventually, eventually they get su sufficiently suspicious because this 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 supposed AI isn't isn't reacting like an AI that they'll get out and shoot me. So in this particular case, I thought, let's not mess around. Let's just run away. Can I hit the Chinook again? Uh, I'm not changing to that fuse load here because it's a busy road. Let's carry on through here. I am heading away from the checkpoint now, but my general theory in this game is that when I'm in a che <sighs> that's a chrome Jaguar. Um, my general theory in this game is when in, when ch in a chase, do whatever is necessary to get out of the chase. Don't try and get back to it. Don't try and finish a chase near a checkpoint because it's probably going to go wrong. I'll end up messing up, and. Um, I'll end. I'll end up doing something dumb because I'm. I'm too busy trying to. Oh, for goodness sake! I didn't have room to s steal the car. Get in the car! Stop messing around with this AI. Punch him out! Knock him out! Knock him out! There we go. Right now, get in the car. Jeez, why is stealing cars so difficult sometimes? Right there we go. Phew. And why is the car alarm going off again? I died. Yeah, that's 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 weird. I don't know why the car alarm is going off when I steal cars from people on the road at the moment because that's not supposed to happen. Okay, Casino Bridge, not very far to go. Um, I can hear sirens though. That's that's the uh, the hunters still lurking around in the general area in their police cars. Uh, red light, nobody around. Look both ways, cross the road. <laughs> um, yes, I'm pretty sure that's I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not how traffic light laws work. Don't pull out in front of me. But then the AIs don't seem to be very good at obeying the law traffic laws either. So, <laughs> what can you do? Right, I'm not hanging around here. No, the light went green at about the right time, so I just end up driving suspiciously rather than quite as illegally as I thought I was going to. Okay, here is the checkpoint just around the corner here. Grab that on the way through. There is a green car park. Is it to the side of the road though? So that's not so bad. Obviously, a hunter turned up. Mark turned up in that uh, in in his uh, Mark green car, and decided to uh, switch to a police car here. So that's uh, so the car's in, in still in good condition. Right. Okay. That's the checkpoint. Boom. Now I didn't really want to. I don't really want to be here. Um, I think because there isn't unless the Mirror Park South checkpoint comes up. This isn't a particularly good place to be. Ooh, another. I kind of want that, but I also don't want to have a broken window. Another jester. Do you mind? <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. That's close enough, I guess. Right, let's go off the edge of here. Round the bend. Ooh, can I get onto the... Yeah, that'll do. Ooh, that won't do. That, however, will. Right. Um, oh, he's right there. And I think that's Tristan as well behind him. It's a, it's a purplish car, anyway. Which is probably going to be Tristan. Okay, so we have another chase. I'm in a, a reasonably nondescript coloured car. Um, so if it does get dark, then that's probably going to work in my favour. But it's going to be a while till it gets dark. So let's try and... Uh, let's see if we can lose him before that anyway. Ooh, pedestrian. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> with, a little, with a few turns here and there. Maybe back down again. And when I find a straight enough bit of road, I can then have a look behind me. Oh! <laughs> well, I um, I had lost him, but then I looped back on myself a bit too quickly. Where's Tristan going? Okay, my, uh, Mike is still with me in the orange. <clears throat> Tristan overshot a bit. I, I think he possibly didn't spot me or didn't recognise me. He knew I was in the area, but didn't know which car was me. Ooh, that was a badly taken corner because that oracle got in the way. And I, as usual, I braked far too much of the corners. That is, I've noticed one of the... Um, problems with my... One of the things I do wrong with my driving... Please be a drive through hedge, it is good. Um, one of the things I do wrong with my driving is I brake too too much for corners. 
Um, so it slows me down more than I really need to slow down, and therefore gets me um, it allows the hunters to catch up too much. Ooh. Ah, ooh, that was a handily placed AI car. That was really convenient. Um, oh. So I'm. <laughs> this is interesting. I mean, I, I I threw off the chase pretty much, but I was still in the same sort of basic area. Hadn't done one of my patented long run. I was see what I mean. I slowed down far too much again then. Um, one of the patented long runs across the city that Mike always mocks me for, and this that's why I do them. If I do if I if I try and shake off a chase, and then and then do a run do a do a long run like this, then it means anyone who's sort of Basically, if you do a long run across the city, that you know that the hunters are all going to be more or less behind you. Whereas if you do a load of twists and turns, especially right at the beginning of a chase, when the hunters are scattered semi-randomly, then you don't know, you don't have a clue where the hunters are going to be. Um, they could, you could end up going around a corner and finding one of them. I do need another car, and I want to get another car before I before I go for the next checkpoint. That's an oracle. I I don't think there's any point in an oracle, really. That's some sort of horrific American Buick thing. Those are boats. Let's not take a boat. And I don't mean a boat in the land yacht kind of way. I just mean literally a boat. What are you? That's a Futo. I mean, a Futo is okay. But it is definitely the worst of the sports cars. So I feel like if I'm going to have a sports car and all the sort of the down, slight downsides to go with it, like bullet-hungry tyres, I might as well get something like a green fusillade. Let's follow this one. And, actually, no, let's, let's pull around in front of it and grab it. Because this is exemplar is getting a bit... I don't know. It's a bit slidey. It did me quite well, though. It was, it was good and quick, so it did well for getting away from the hunters. Um, only thing is that the, the hunters know that I quite like the fusillade. I've driven them quite a bit this evening. because Partly because they've been spawning a lot, and partly because they're a good car. Or it's sort of basically it's that combination. It's a good car that's been spawning a lot, so it seems like a good choice to have. Um, so I've been using them quite a lot, so the hunters have kind of got used to it. But I am now on the last che final checkpoint. It's just up here. I can hear the hunter. I can hear the. Um... In fact, there is a hunter. So let's stop these lights. Let's try and stop at the line. There we go. Because so one of the things I know that I do wrong is that I keep pulling up too far too far away from the line. And I've been doing that ever since I started playing. It's because the third person camera makes it less obvious where you put your car. Um, so I keep, yeah, I keep doing that. Um, I don't know how obvious it is to the hunters, but I feel like it's a thing I want to do better. Right, okay, in the last run where I got to this point, I made the mistake of not, um, not running when the final hunt started. I just sort of, I just carried on trying to you know what? Storm drain run. Storm, storm drain run. Storm drain run. Um, I made the mistake of trying to try and just sort of carry on blending into traffic when the when the final hunt started, and that meant I was and that meant I got caught because I hung around the area for too long. And I don't know. I think I just I think just the car I the the, the queue I was in happened to get investigated and I was given away and they they chased me down and managed to kill me. So this time I'm just going to put my foot down. I'm going to vanish miles up the city, and the storm drain is a fantastic way of doing that going to get me away from them a decent distance um, and as long as I stop before I go into the water at the top here I can go a little bit further uh, I know um, then I should be okay now what's the way is there a way out of here I could go down that tunnel there but I don't really want to there isn't really a way to get out of here oh Max is still following me uh, that's a problem <laughs> yeah, because if he's still following me, firstly, it tells the rest of the hunters where I am, and secondly, the final hunt will never finish. Because he's there, there will always be a hunter close to me, because technically Max is still, still counts as one of the hunters. <laughs> so that's um, potentially a problem. Uh, let's turn my headlights off, actually, if I'm going to be hooning up and down the storm drain. Um, because I don't want to be... Yeah, if, you, if they see a car in the storm drain, it's obviously me. Uh, because, yeah, AI, AI vehicles never come down here. So I'll just put my foot down. Get, get, drive all the way... Oh, heck, this is the this way leads out to the sea as well. Maybe, maybe the storm drain wasn't such a great idea. 
I could do the railway lines, actually. Just run all the way back into the city on the railway lines. <laughs> and my tradi the traditional thing to do is to get onto the motorways and then just make a beeline for Polito Bay. Um, just to get the distance. Because I'm obviously not in a chase at the moment. Something silly would have happened by now if I was. Um... So the game is effectively over. I would say I have. I would say I have won, but the game, the the, the, the uh, final hunt detection thing, has not detected that I've won yet. So I'm going to need to just carry on going a little bit longer and get a little bit further away. So I think at this point, yes, just leaving the city is probably the best way to do it. And so I shall. Yes, these these railway tunnels take you out and they drop you off. You can you can then drop down off the bridge along here straight onto the highway. I think. <coughs> Yeah, down onto that. So I can get off this bridge, down onto that highway, and then I can then just carry on running off north. And once I get a certain distance away from the... Oh, for goodness sake. Not like that. <clears throat> once I get a certain distance away from the hunters, for about 20, 30 seconds, they'll all blow up and I'll win the game. But it's a, a little while till that happens. So, while, uh, while I'm doing this, I shall say uh, thank you for watching. It's, this has been Lawrence, uh, probably Winter. This, was that some purple lights going in the opposite direction? I think it might have been. Okay, I'm going to carry on this way anyway. Um, if so, I'm going to have a little bit longer to play. But thank you for watching, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. <laughs> um, don't forget to come back next week for, another, for the next video. Oh, there we go. Boom. And uh, don't forget to come along for the streams and all the other videos and things on my channel in the, in, in the meantime. <laughs> so, thank you very much, and uh, see you next time. I don't know if the game volume's too loud, but the colors sure are. <laughs> hey. Very interesting. Yep. Ah. Sorry, did I actually get your tire? That wasn't intentional. I was firing a shot to demonstrate that it was me. Oh no, you didn't. Never mind. Right, so we're at golf course. <laughs> Don't make me explode you, Mike. Oh, sorry. A bit rust as well. I'm heading towards oil field at speed. Oh! Oil field champion has been taken. Yep. Alright. There's a yellow and blue car heading north. Okay, no. uh, I'm not following that one. I'm following that one. Sorry, east. Yeah, I know the way you mean I'm on it. That car seems to have gone. Voice line. Good. Most line plus helicopter might go in this way. Helicopter is currently going northwest. Yep, heading north uh, past Lester's factory, I think, ish. Uh, under the highway. Towards Mirror Park, but one over to the west. He is a bit faster. Just heading straight. Okay, round the corner to the left. Highway? No, uh, we're crossing the highway again now, heading west. Uh, south of Casino. Turn south. Oh, okay, I'm one down from you. Approaching Arcadius, I think. No, uh, going to the highway by the Penrose building, heading west.
found another car and he's stopped and turned around. He's going east on the highway. I think he... No, he's, he's come off the highway by Pillbox Hill, but not the dodging off. Heading north again. I've lost sight of him. I'm at Square Square at the moment. North of there. Uh, west towards shopping there. centre. He's way okay. in the distance. So I, I no longer see him. Anyone got eyes on the helicopter? Yep. Heading towards shopping centre generically. Circling just over helicopter. Over helicopter. Over um, shopping centre. Light blue muscle car. Light blue muscle car. was five ways up. He has taken a cap the scenery bridge. I'm south of there. So I'll check the cars coming. I'm heading. I'm heading across towards Casino. I'm heading west from the bridge. I think I found him. Yep, found him. Okay. Um, trying to jump down to the highway, but absolutely failing it. So he's in Love the football that. field uh, in a silver. Now he's jumped onto the highway. Which way? Uh, he's on a slip road. Uh, now heading. Back off, off the highway. highway, heading south. Dashand. Yep, heading west. Dashand, heading west. It's a sort of dark grey, browny sports car. I want to see Fusilade. The speed wants to say that as well. Oop, turning right, and I bend it slightly. Turn left. Which is a magnificent view of. Turning south again, so to west of the. Yep, I'm just. Uh, oh, 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 clipped so in, but not enough to uh, do anything. Uh, shopping centre. I didn't actually see where he went. He's yeah. behind you, behind you, behind you. Go in, tunnel now. Uh, I must have deflated him enough to make him hit something and yeah. stop briefly. Through the tunnel, still heading towards five ways. Turning south just before five ways, and then turning left again towards Southside Shopping Centre. Uh, and then turning north up Southside Shopping Centre. And temporary, no, there he is, north up the west side of Shopping Centre. He's just getting to north side Shopping Centre now, and he's turning left, left. Proceeding west from the north side of Shopping Centre. Yep, that one there. Ooh, oh, close. Close. On your left, Ed. Yes, I see you. Still heading west at speed. Uh, oh, and may I push left me into the tree? Left and invader, left and right invader going south towards five. Ways. <laughs> Still going south at five ways. I think, <clears throat> well, maybe one block over. I'm not really sure. Uh, lost sight to turn right. Oh, yeah, he turned right. He's heading uh, due south towards Chinese checkpoint monument thing. At this point, I've lost eyes because he's so much faster than me, and also I'm not good at not hitting somebody. Else. I don't see the helicopter. Uh, it went uh, northeast. Northeast, thank you. Yeah, but I don't think that you know the circle should be off, so we should. Yeah, you should be flying up. away. Just fly up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. I didn't realize it was final hunt. Jeez. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Right. Happy exploding.
It's a car going to speed down the storm drain. Oh, it is. My car's broken the storm drain. Uh, it's just changed fork of the storm drain, so it's going up the east fork of the storm drain right now. Uh, but my car's bust. Uh, so damn it. I was just drove past that. Still left there. It was going up there. Uh, about five seconds ago. Mid fifteen there. He's probably exited by now. It does seem somewhat likely. That's the only lead we've got. Yeah. Alright, what happened there is he was in between me and you guys, and he fled towards me, and that made it not explode, I guess. Oh, did I actually flee towards you? Is that what it was? Uh, I, at first I followed you, trying to pick you up and bring you away. That was a yep. little idea when you got to get... That's not going to work, because you're a hunter, so... Yep. That's what I expected. 